Hello and welcome to Access Sportsnet Lakers, driven by your Southern California Honda dealers. I'm Chris McGee, joined by President Obama's good friends. Big game, James Worthy. Big shot, Robert Ori. Allie Clifton is here. Mike Trudell is here with Brez handling the postgame interviews. We're coming to you for the full 90 minutes after a Laker game one victory. The first NBA Finals game for the Lakers in 10 years. They did not disappoint. Absolute dominance, James. Yeah, I think so. I, I think the key word was focus at the at the mission at hand, you know, uh, led by LeBron. He knows where he is now, four games away. Um, you know, so I think it was a little slow start. Miami came out with a big charge. But I think, uh, you know, again, the poise of the Lakers went inside, did what they're supposed to do, dominated inside. Also, they hit the three ball uh, early and, and, you know, shot well. So, Domination is, is what they're supposed to do. This is the finals. You don't leave nothing on the court. You know, it, it's a true sign of how, how you turn things around. If you look at the first quarter, you're like, oh, no, here we go with the, the previous playoff game. Um, but they just stuck with it. They say, you know what? You got to realize the Heat just came off a series. We haven't played in eight days or six days, whatever it was. So it's going to give us a little time to get this rust off. They knocked that rust off, and then, wow, did they knock the rust off. They came out knocking down threes at the high clip. Their defensive rotation was amazing. They did a lot of great things in the game so that they was keyed, locked in and keyed in. And, and everyone talked about one of the keys was going to be uh, both teams' benches. And I think the Laker bench has proven consistently that when they step it up, they're hard to beat. Yeah, the Heat were up 13 in the first quarter. Just throwing haymakers. Lakers responded with a 19-3 run, had a three-point lead going into the second, and from all there, it was the Lakers. Let's go back to Orlando. LeBron is with Mike Trudell. All right, LeBron James, you've been to the finals ten times, never in this type of a setting. Uh, what was game one like? Uh, what, what did it feel like there on the court compared to the other ones? Um, one, we got a sense of how hard Miami plays. Um, we haven't played the Eastern Conference team in quite a while. They play extremely hard, and they showed that in that first quarter. Um, but we have some resilience on our side, and we was able uh, to be down early 23-10 uh, and be able to take the lead um, before the first quarter ended. So, uh, you know, big step for our ball club. Uh, your defense has carried the way this whole season as a team. Uh, you've led the way on that end as well, verbally, uh, physically. What in those second and third quarters, and really the end of the first two, what did you guys figure out on that end that helped you limit Miami? We had to play a little bit harder. We had to match their intensity. Uh, we had to match their will. We had to match their drive. Once we did that, uh, we was able to cover for one another, get stops, and then get out and do what we do best on the, on the offensive end. How about the two-man game with you and AD? Uh, it just seems like it's been clicking from the start. Here it is in the finals again. Uh, you're both able to get what you wanted to. Uh, how has that been going throughout the season and tonight especially? We try to work well off one another. Um, our team leans on us, both offensively and defensively, to make plays, and that's our job. Um, we're the two captains of the team, and we put that responsibility on our back. Um, so uh, tonight was another um, good effort for us, but we know we got to be a lot better in game two. All right, LeBron, last thing for you. You mentioned game two. Uh, you, you said it's, it's championship or bust. You have to get four wins. What do you take out of this one that's most important heading into that second game? Well, we got game one. That's what's most important. Uh, we got game one under our belt, and we're going to watch film, uh, dive into the film session tomorrow, and see ways we can be better. Um, I believe you could be uh, just as great in a win and learn from your mistakes than if you lose a game. So I'm looking forward to getting to the film session uh, tomorrow as a team and uh, see ways we could be better uh, in game two. Okay, Levon, we appreciate it. I appreciate it, Mike. All right, LeBron James not celebrating anything after a game one victory. Braun and Brow, NBA Finals game one. Our graphics producer, Andrew Miller, put this together, and it is fantastic. 34 points for AD, 25 for LeBron. They combined 20 of 38 from the field. They combined four of eight from three, 22 rebounds. And you look at the assists for LeBron, nine. He's one assist shy of a triple-double, and the three blocks from AD, were big. I want to start with AD, James, because this was his first finals game. You see the 34 points. You see the three blocks. 
I also see the 10 for 10 from the free throw line, the rim protection, and they just did not have an answer for him, and he showed a lot of toughness in this game too. Yeah, what, what I see is a superstar player coming to a big-time city, recognizing where he is, and he has gone through each stage and gotten better each stage. I saw him in tonight's game really be aggressive. You know, he, he's had moments where he's, you know, had moments where he's been a little, not lackadaisical, but being pushed off the post and that thing of that nature. No, I saw a determined guy that didn't need any conversation about being.